Hi, I'm Peter Vogel, a member of Team Jetty USA and Dispree Model. And um, I got an email this morning from Graham Prestige, uh, who is a pattern flyer, um, and had a couple of questions about the DS-16 and uh, setting up some uh, stick-based conditions in particular, and I love pattern flying myself, he's uh, looking for uh, essentially a snap condition and a uh, spin condition where uh, when you go to full throttle and go to the extremes of um, any other stick, so essentially full throttle plus any uh, all the other sticks being at an extreme uh, position would uh, in, in initiate the, uh, the spin the snap condition. Uh, so I got started on that and I figured I'd take us through the last few steps of that um, here on the video. So what we're going to do uh, to start with, we'll hit the menu button here and we'll go into advanced properties. And here we'll find logical switches and I'll dig into that for just a moment. Uh, I've already set up a high throttle uh, logical switch, an extreme rudder, a um, left stick condition, which we'll look at in a second, and an extreme aileron. So let's look at the, uh, the individual switches that we have set up here, the logical switches. So the high throttle logical switch is basically based on proportional control 4 um, here. Five minutes. Where if I uh, go to a throttle above 95%, uh, you want to leave some leeway in there. Um, a throttle above 95% turns that uh, particular flow logical switch on, and you can see that with the check mark here. So above 95%, we get the check mark, drop it down a little bit, and um, it's off. Um, similarly, uh, extreme rudder is a little bit different. Um, because we want to be uh, on in either extreme of the rudder, so here or here, uh, we have two conditions that are ORed. So uh, if the proportional control 3 is greater than 95%, then it comes on. Or if it's less than negative 95%, then it comes on. Um, and we'll see how all these get set up uh, when we look at the elevator in a second that I haven't set up yet. Um, and then, uh, as Four I was minutes. finishing with the left stick, um, I figured I'd go ahead and put the condition in here. So this one, very straightforward. It says if um, logical switch two, which is the high throttle, um, and there you see that one's just come on, and uh, logical switch three, which is the extreme rudder uh, in either direction. It, um, comes on, then this switch is going to come on. So when the left stick condition meets the uh, necessary conditions for a snap, then we're going to go ahead and um, turn this switch on. So finally, uh, at the moment I have the extreme aileron, which is just like the extreme rudder switch, only uh, it's for um, proportional control one. So finally I need to set up the extreme um, elevator switch. So we'll go ahead and um, put a label in here. Three minutes. And I'm a software engineer, so I tend to name my uh, switches like I would name variables. There's nothing saying that I can't use spaces in here and so, and so forth. It's just a habit. Uh, we'll click OK there. We'll enable this switch. And then we're going to uh, hit escape and drop down into the actual controls that we care about. We'll drill down in. We'll clear the P3 that's there. And um, we, all we have to do is move the elevator. And that tells it uh, I want to use proportional control 2. It's already set up as proportional, so that's perfect. Um, we'll click OK. And then, um, again, it's going to be an OR. And the other control, again, I'll just clear it. Move proportional control two, which is my elevator. Two minutes. And that's selected. Click OK. And now I've just got to set the um, conditions. So um, here we're going to go with X greater than. That's the value of the control. When, the, when it's greater than 95%. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to crank it up by 1s to 5%, and then I'm going to hit the menu button once, which will increment me by 10s instead. It's just a little quicker, and I'll take it up to 95. And 
and hit menu again, that'll get me to hundreds. One more time, back to ones. Um, and then here, uh, I want x less than, and we're already at negative 90%, so all I have to do is go to negative 95%. And um, we should be set. So we'll, let's just make sure. If we go up, we're on. If we go all the way down, we're on. So we're in good shape. One minute. And then finally, uh, just like I did with the left stick, I need a rudder stick, uh, a right stick uh, switch. So um, we'll do a logical seconds. switch here. Um, and I'm going to just name it. Thirty seconds. That. And then um, the controls that I care about. Drill in. Clear the control that's seconds. there. Hit the logical because this time I care about a logical switch. So when extreme aileron. Um, and. Ten, nine, eight, that, seven, select the logical six, switch. Five, and four, extreme elevator three, are on. Two. One. So L5 and L6 um, will uh, we'll get the thing. So drive it to the corners, and we're on anywhere else, even extreme one thing but not the extreme the other, we're in good shape. Okay, so left stick, right stick. So the final uh, switch that we need here is uh, the one that checks whether left and right are both matching our conditions. So um, I'll go ahead and call this one snap. And we'll enable it. And come down and control one, drill in, choose the logical switch for the left stick. Okay. And the logical switch for the right stick. So uh, left stick and right stick um, meeting the conditions will turn us on. That's it for the getting the switch uh, set up and in just a second we'll take a look at um, setting up the rates that he wanted. Okay, so uh, we've set up the logical switches. The next step is to set up the um, flight mode that's going to be controlled by that logical switch and then set the dual rates controlled by that flight mode. So what we're going to do, uh, we'll go ahead and um, drop into the menu here and we'll go to fine tuning. And first thing, we'll um, create a new flight mode. So just click add and um, we're going to name it, name this snap mode, and you can see up here that the uh, currently selected flight mode is always displayed. What I want to do is I want to make that snap mode um, take priority over anything else that might be going on. So I'm going to go ahead and move it up to the top of the list. Then uh, I'll go in here and I'm going to set the switch for it. And um, the switch in this case is going to be that logical switch, which is the snap mode switch. So we'll say OK. And then just to make sure things are working, we'll go up into the snap condition. And in fact, we see that it did change to um, snap mode. So that's perfect. Um, the next part, because I've I'm using this um, rather awkward switch uh, of moving the controls to their extremes, um, we're going to have some fun uh, setting that up in the dual rates. So we'll click uh, OK here. That's all I need to do in flight mode. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go into uh, our dual rate area, which you would expect. And you see the G here. That means the, these uh, dual rates are global. They apply everywhere. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change them to be flight mode specific. So here I'm going to select the, the G and it switches immediately to um, uh, mode specific. Um, single mode is what the S stands for. And uh, what happens is it copies the um, global settings to each of the individual um, 
flight modes that exist so far. So what we can do now is we can kick it into snap mode and go and edit our rates. So I'll crank this up to 100. Again, I hit the menu button to get us up to count by tens. And we can leave the exponential alone, I guess. Um, so 30% normally, 100% um, when we're in full mode. Click OK. We're going to do the same thing for the elevator. Change it. Um, this one's not symmetrical, so um, I'm just going to go ahead and get them matched and then um, put it back in symmetrical mode. Update it to six. And then we're going to go to to snap mode and um, we'll crank this one up to 60, hit the menu, make them symmetric. Three minutes. So again, snap mode goes to 100% on ailerons and elevator and to um, 55 and 60%. So we're in good shape there. Rudder, uh, Graham wanted it to actually decrease the rudder throw. Um, so we're at 100% now in precision mode. We'll go ahead and again turn on snap mode. significantly, maybe 50%. Okay, um, so now, oops, that's still global. Let's do that again. We'll crank it back to, up to 100%. Two minutes. Single mode, and then going into snap mode. Go into snap mode, 100% ailerons and elevator, rudder 50%. Throttle is unaffected, it stays global. Um, that's pretty much all there is to it. You can do the same thing for um, the spin, uh, the difference being you'd be at low throttle at that point. Um, so all you really need to do is um, here in advanced properties, logical switches. We already have a high throttle uh, condition. We would um, create a low throttle One condition and um, we would have a left stick snap and a um, left stick uh, or an L um, 50 seconds. spin. And then our final spin condition would use the L spin, stick spin uh, switch and the right 40 stick seconds. Uh, switch as it is today. So we just use a couple more um, logical switches. Probably three more logical switches would result from that. Um, but otherwise, 30 seconds. The same. That's pretty much it. Hope that was helpful to you, Graham.